I don't have a label for the movement that we're part of. Um, part of the reason that I don't have a label for it is that we don't know what it is. And in fact, from where we sit right now, I think anything that we can kind of project and say, here's what it is, is going to be conditioned by the place that we already are. So I think that in a way, it's kind of maybe healthy to let go of labels for a while uh, and say, yeah, we've caught glimpses of this more beautiful world that wants to be born. We've seen glimpses of it, but we don't know what it is. And I think that in order to get there, we have to go through a period of unknowing, period of we don't know, period of chaos. I think that uh, the category of activist is probably a little bit too narrow uh, because it's based on kind of conventional ways of seeing politics and seeing what is political and what isn't. Uh, so it excludes things that exert change on the world in ways that are less visible to us who are conditioned um, by the dominant theory of change. That theory of change, in turn, is built on our understanding of reality. You know, how the world works, what's real, what's important, uh, and yeah, how change happens. So in that kind of conventional understanding of how change happens and therefore who's a big change maker and who is a small change maker or not a change maker at all, it's the people who have lots of money, lots of political power, a big platform, video cameras pointing at them and spreading their message out, they're having a big effect. But you know, I'm sorry, if you're a normal little person, then you're not gonna have a very big effect. So I think we have to expand our understanding to coincide with, um, I call it the new story, but it's really an ancient story of, of what's real and how change happens in the world. And to revalidate the kind of private, invisible acts that are just maybe on the interpersonal level, on the family level, on the community level, and then all the way up to the systems level, the political level. So I'm not saying that you know, the private realm is a substitute for these other things, <clears throat> but I'm saying that at different times in our lives, we are called to be activists in different ways. And at some points, for example, during a time of, of you know, mass political upheaval when people are coming into the streets, that call might be toward something that's overtly political, and at other times it might not be.